Hey Pisces. Okay. Hey Pisces, I'm here with your messages. You guys are the last sign and then I'm done for the month. And then we're going to turn it over to doing the weekly messages, which will be shorter. All right, Pisces. Making sure that you're grounding yourself every day, Pisces. Making sure you're tapping into your divine. Like, because sometimes when you're in the, the mundane of the hustle and the bustle, no matter if you're working or if you're just right, you know, whatever it is, maybe you go to school, maybe you're just in an environment where people are hustling and bustling and people are not tapping into their divinity. You know, it's very important, Pisces, that you do that, that you tap in to who you are in your true essence, whether you're divine masculine or divine feminine, it really doesn't matter which gender. Now, Pisces, if you are new, hello, I'm Indigo. I'm a spiritual practitioner of love. I want you to exude the highest vibration of self-love, self-worth, and self-value within yourself through journeying through your um, soul and allowing yourself to flourish and flaunt your valuable assets to the divine world, okay? Um, a lot of you guys have a purpose. Of course, we all have a purpose, rather. So if you are interested in a personal session, I will have my link tree down below. You can also take a look at my old videos. I have tons of videos, you guys. Also on my link tree, you guys could take a look into my social media platforms, um, my TikTok, my Instagram, all of that. I am Indigo. I am a mommy. I am a divine mother goddess. I'm an intuitive and I have a close connection with the ancest ancestral um, dimensions, the planes, okay? The ancestors, they like me. They like me, okay? And I love them, okay? I show. So let's get one message for my beautiful Pisceans. I'm also on my way to becoming a uh, leveled uh, shaman, okay? So let's get one card for my beautiful, beautiful Pisceans. <laughs> My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pisces. One card for my Pisces. Oh. oh, well, you guys are the last sign. It's all good. All right, so you guys got prosperity right here, right? That's behind there. The ancestors, like, um, this is guided. This is also money making, um, Money making strategies, right? Coming more into you. They're leading you. Your ancestors are leading you to the prize. I was talking to Cancer. You guys, that's your fellow uh, water sign, buddy. Say hello to Cancer. But I was telling them, um, what the hell was I telling them? I lost my train of thought that fast. I literally lost my train of thought. Anywho, you guys are being led. Okay, now this is a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Some of you guys could have very fiery placements. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, strong placements. Some of you guys could be a Pisces Ascendant, a Pisces Moon, or a Pisces Venus watching this, which may resonate more for you. There's a homecoming that is structuring you, structuring you to be more of yourself, allowing yourself to feel more at home in your own divine presence. Because sometimes when you're around people, you may try to shrink yourself or you may deal with a lot of anxiety or pressure or even depression because you're feeling the energy and the adversities that others are feeling because of your very strong empathic energy. So also your this is the energy of clearing up. We're going to pull more cards, but like clearing a karmic deck that has to do with your sexuality, the way you spend, whether it's sexually, financially, spiritually, or emotionally. It also has to do with your perseverance, the way you um, present yourself in a proud way. Um, your confidence, of course, with the yellow. This is yellow and orange spiraling in this energy. Bring you down to your foundation. Bring you down to you allowing yourself to feel at home. I'm telling you, that's the that's the that's the that's the note for you guys. That's the message for you guys. Allowing yourself to feel at home with you. This, 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 the only thing you have dominion over is you. So you allowing yourself, and this is your home. A lot of people think that tangible things or things outside of you or your home. No, this. You is your home. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Planning your foundation. This is also you going where you are inspired. I talked about this. Don't ask me what video babies, because I don't remember. I've got so many videos. But like, you're planning your feet. You're planning your soil. You have been experiencing different environments for some of you guys. Some of you guys are like this energy of being drifters, Pisces. Like you're finding your place. You're finding your footing. You're experiencing. You're learning certain things from certain environments, certain acquaintances, certain peoples, your soul tribe members. You're meeting people that you have connected with over the, you know what I'm saying, like past lives. This could have been at different junctures in this particular life, but you're learning, you're learning uh, quite a bit as you're journeying. Some of you guys could be moving jobs. Some of you guys could be working from home or were working from home, and now you're going back into the job field, you know, where you're working from others, so you're going to be experiencing people. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's only different for all y'all joking. But this is also could be travel for the summer. What's the messages for my Pisces, please? Messages, thank you. What's the messages? The flow of life, expression, emotions. Learn, you know what, Pisces? Let me, I'm going to say this. Hold on. What's the messages for my Pisces? Mm. Messages for my Pisces. Messages for my Pisces, please. Thank you. One more card for my Pisces. Thank you. Pisces, this is the thing. I want to say something to you guys. Life lesson. This is the same bottom card that Scorpio has. So some of you guys can have Scorpio in your chart. Right. Okay, so. Or this is transforming as an energy for you as well. You have this very deep understanding. Deep, 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 deep. You are very deep So, But this is the thing where you mess up, Pisces. You don't know how to express yourself at times when you need to express yourself. There are times when you need to hold them and you need to fold them or you need to show them, basically. So it's times you just, hmm, and then it's times you just talk. So, like, you dive in deeper, you know, you're more open. Just like, because I hear Scorpio. Some of you guys are definitely tied in with a Scorpio. It's like allowing you, like, like the symbol or the sign or the... the thing that's representative of Scorpio is transformation death. So Scorpios are good with transforming constantly. And Pisces, for whoever you that's watching this video, you are a transformative being. You constantly revitalize yourself. You constantly go into hermit mode to come out to transform again. You're constantly weaving. You're weaving a huge, you know, um, a huge uh, fabric of spiritual it's like spiritual awokeness I know that's awoke is not a word I know that babies but like it's this powerful energy that you're every time you weave you're weaving something right some of you guys do weave some of you guys like wearing weaves but the expression is expressing your truth opening your mind to also connecting to your um uh, past life energy, which you, you have some ties to Egypt, to Kemet, okay? So you guys are needing to go and do some studying, uh, possibly abroad or either online or either going to the library and getting a book. Some of you guys really need to start studying the Kemet um, way of being. A lot of you guys are being called for that. Um, the answers, removing um, obstacles are getting removed. The more you go into the areas that you're supposed to so everything that you all the shadow work all the emotional maintenance all the emotional clearing that you are being guided to do i think y'all reading was going to be deep um that you're guided it's everything that's guided it, it may just seem like it's just sporadically happening for you pisces no you're literally being guided the way you need to be guided so Breathing with green spaces around you. These are two heart energies. So connecting to your heart space and possibly even allowing love to come in because there may be some love offers or some contenders that are coming your way that want to greet you or they want to bring you something. It's like bringing, um, uh, you know, off the top of my intuitive energy, bringing, you know, a goddess, an empress, um, on her throne, on her throne, 
and the people of the village or the town or wherever she um, ruled would get the gifts, the high gifts, okay? And they and and they might not always be what she wanted. Maybe she wanted different types of presents or money, but they was given. It was given to her in the way that she needed it. Okay, the gifts that she needed, if that makes sense. This is making time within your heart space to allow love because some of you guys are going to be having some past life energies coming towards you. I'm telling you, you guys are getting past loves coming. If you are single, even if you ain't single, if you ain't attached, even if you is attached, you about to get some people from the past. You about to get blasts from the past. And all of these people are not going to be people who you consciously know. Of. Like I said, they're going to be people from your past. You get what I'm saying? Your past lives, those other incarnations that you experienced, they're going to start coming towards you. Pisces, which is deep ass. <laughs> I knew y'all still were good. That's why Pisces, a lot of times when I do readings, I have to put y'all last because y'all, your, your souls are just so deep. I can connect. I can't. I dig it. I'm a Pisces moon. I, I, as deep as I get. get it. Me, I, I, yeah, I get it. Okay. All right. What are the messages? The Phoenix rising. Mm hmm. You're getting called. You're getting called. Some of you guys are getting called to go away. You know how they call you for war? You're not going to war, Pisces, but you're being called to for, towards another destination. Okay? You're being called towards something. Some of you guys already feel it. Mm. I know cold water is not the best for you, but I can't. It's summer. I can't drink room temperature water right now. I see that. I'm pretty sure some of you guys get what I'm saying. Matthew, they said drink more water. I heard. Drink you some water. Mm -hmm. What's the messages? Messages. Messages. Mm -hmm. We got beauty. What's the messages? Thank you. We got to say what you mean. Talk to them. Some of you guys need to school people. Somebody needs to be re-schooled. Somebody needs to be recalibrated. This could be you already going through your cal recalibration, but now you're needing to punch somebody in the energy portal so they can get some stuff going on. It has to do with a soulmate because they're stuck like Chuck, you know, or this soulmate is helping you. What's the messages? They're trying to get you to see the beauty within yourself. Somebody soulmate. <sighs> Or the connection and where it vibrates. Because we got temptation. Answers will come. Some of you guys are waiting then is still oh yeah. Look at this. Fire said waiting. Look at this soulmate up in the car. I didn't even know this in this in this car. Look, look at him. Messages for my Pisces. Messages for my Pisces. Uh, he's waiting. We got this one is showing up. Okay. This one is showing up. These this is in another round. And this one is waiting. Could be this one as well. You guys got a lot of intensity. Y'all got a lot of soulmates coming back. That's what happens when you're clear. That's what happens when you're clear. As soon as I said that, look, the hole in your heart. Sadness, because the change is so this change is so strong. And think something is getting ready to change for you very fast, Pisces. I know I say on car, but the cars pop. I guess it's sometimes when I do my cars like this, um, they flip back over. One more card. Somebody is talking. Their inner child could be talking to them. Through dreams, yep, through dreams, their daydreams. Somebody is getting a lot of downloads. You could be getting a lot of downloads, okay? I want to call you Sagittarius. Some of you guys can have Sag in your chart. Or there's a Sag who wants to connect with you and clear the air. There is a lot of energy of someone. This could be someone dead. This could be a part of you. This is all, this dead energy is leaving you. Whatever contaminated, dark, low vibrational, demonic energy that has been sliming and slithering around you for a long time. 
and they're trying to hold on to you, but you've already cleared this bitch off. But this bitch, it's like when you break up with a toxic ex or somebody who ain't for you anymore and they driving by your house or they spying or, you know what I'm saying, trying to find some information out of you because you completely disattached and you started to love yourself and you're more in tune with you. That's that energy. That's the energy of this bitch. And she ugly. That's the energy. <sighs> trying to find out what's going on with you. Trying to get some information on you. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, possibly. I don't know. But they're trying to see what... They're trying to talk and figure out, you know. This is energy. Take it how it works. It could be an actual energy. Okay? An entity. A low-level piece of... Or it could, this could be, this is resonating for you. It could be in the form of this ex or another person. I heard prostitute, okay? It could be somebody who's obsessed with you. And obsession is sick. You Listen, go watch that spiritual protection video. I posted one yesterday. Go, it's, it's, it's one of my most recent videos. A couple of, yeah, it's a couple, you know. But watch it. It's about spiritual protecting yourself. The more you stand in your power, the more of those low-level energies, they don't have nowhere they can grab on to you. It's like having slime on your hand, some really slippery gloves, and, and trying to grab onto a, a very thin, slippery pole. They don't, they don't have no grasp. So, like, you need to be effective in being in your power. I talk about it in that video, Pisces. What's the messages? Because you're beautiful. Whoever you are, seven of swords, you're taking a leap of faith. Aries energy, moving toward the things that scare the shit out of you, right? Not resisting change, watching this part of you die. Oh. Collaborating with your higher self. Like, you're not listening to your ego. Some of you guys have, go for it. Woo, woo, woo. If you have completely healed that part of you that always needed to go to your ego because you were scared or you blah, 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 whatever the case is, bam, seven of swords. Because you were playing yourself out. It was a falseness. This is Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. You know, it was like energy you was connected to that kept you in that freaking funky shit. So now it's like what I always say to people. You let the old go, the new can come in. That's why them soulmates is rolling in. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like they're letting themselves be known like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> they want you to see them, okay? What's the messages? See me, see me, see me. Yep, page of wands, page of cups. They're just saying hi to some Leo, Aries, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, which you are the Pisces. I'm trying. I'm pushing hard. You know, um, this is somebody expressing themselves. You, whoever it is connected to you, take it how it resonates. I just want to tell you, I do love you. There's somebody who's saying it, but they're not saying it. They, they're... Like, you probably can feel the energy of this person. If you guys are new, this is my son. For the my OGs, they already know. You know what I'm saying? This is my son. I'm a single mom. I homeschool him. It's me and my son. Okay? That's what it is. All right. Somebody understands me. I feel it. All right. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups and Page of Wands? He does, he's not always in here. He just happens to be in here right now. He is in here a lot, but not all the time. We got the just, ooh, y'all got a lot of major arcanas. The page, this is what I'm saying. This page of cups is being clarified by the magician and the justice. This is Libra energy and Aries Libra energy. Some of you guys are definitely got Aries in your chart or you are dealing with an Aries where there is an influential energy of the emperor. Even though the emperor is not showing up, this is like structure. You guys leveling, like some of you guys energetically moving or aligning yourself with Aries. Aries to me is one of the more, in my opinion, is the most action orientated uh, sign when they are in their higher selves. Okay. They make things happen. They manifest like a mother. Okay. They get stuff going now because the magician card. Okay. Somebody's not showing their hand too. Somebody is looking like a page, but they're doing that to, for deceptive purposes. So they go into this energy of knowing when to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to show you all that I am because if I show you, then, you know, it just ain't the timing. And this person is really this and really this. 
they are the karmic, they're walking karmic justice. They make things happen in a different type of way, in a disciplined way. They do so much. This could be you, like doing so much work on themselves constantly, allowing the manifestations, allowing their strength, allowing their power to push them towards the heights that are for them. And this is possibly your way. We could clarify the Seven of Swords. You could give marriage, possibly, a situation that is not more like you went and meditated went deep within many, many times and found out this is not the way for you. Some of you guys clear, somebody, somebody is clearing and deading the energy and completely closing out a cycle, whether an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Or this could just be your thought form of just saying, you know what, enough is enough. And this leads to confusion now because something cleared out. You went, you went within, right? With the seven of swords. Like, what is this deceptive energy? You went within, you asked the questions, you posed the energy, Bam, you got your release, you got your energy, whatever that was. Then the Ten of Swords comes in, the completions. Now you're trying to figure out, hey, what is this for me? Are you trying to, your, your ish options, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, you're trying to figure out and see all the options that you have in front of you and, and see if they're, you know, which one is in, it's, it's in perfect alignment. Like, you know, some of you guys could have some earth placements, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, where you're really analytical or you're very, like, things have to make sense. Or Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, maybe that's what it is. A lot of you guys tap into your air placements where, you, where you're analyzing and, you know, the things have to really make sense. And they really have to go and they really have to flow, no matter what intuitively you know. You know what I mean? King of Wands, Leo energy, masculine energy. Could be some type of content. You guys got some... Somebody got clarification on a Leo. Oops. Well, that came up. Some of you guys got clarification on a Leo. And it could have been dealing with another person. Married or... But this person is holding on to you. This person is not letting go. This person is a soulmate. And this change that's coming in with the soulmate. There's some deep realization, some understanding that this person has been, I think this person operates something like you in this regard, just like I was saying, like I'm, I show up as a page, but what I really is, but I can't hit you with it yet, you know, and then maybe when you guys come, if y'all ever come together, it's this cataclysmic, most powerful energy of a power couple. You know, but you can't be, you You got to play, you know, because you got to play less, you know, maybe around some people that ain't that smile, you know, or they get easily triggered or easily jealous. So you got to walk within that energy. What is this King of Wands? King of Wands for my Pisces. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. For sure. The Ten of Pentacles. Pre-judgment. This is a pre-payout. This is the, 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 um, what is it? The something before the coming attraction. That's that energy. The preview before the coming attraction. Somebody could be on the other side gifting you this as well. Could be a Leo, Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. One more card for my Pisces. Oh, reunion, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water energy. Yep, something's getting ready to come. <laughs> something's ready to happen for y'all. You passed all this. Let me see. Listen to this. This is the Empress, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. This shit is healed. Or this shit is concealed. Which one is it? Because that's the Empress, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. This is fulfillment. This is joy. This is a spiritual level up within your commitment to self. Your commitment. Some of you guys are being in... Um, enthroned. You guys are being rethroned. You're being put back on the throne of whatever um, whatever dynasty you're supposed to lead. Okay? This is beautiful, you guys. Strength card showing too. Some of you guys definitely deal with a Leo. I got Leo in your chart. Love y'all.